Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So now in this video, I'm going to be showing you that how can you choose your web hosting wisely. Okay. So if you are, if you have chosen WordPress, oh, sorry, uh, the web hosting from the host creator, you have chosen the best web hosting. But if you have, if you are using that free web hosting, that is the ATSNX.com, even if you are using the add-on domain, no, no problem. But if you are using a free web hosting, those that don't have the 99.9% .9 uptime, okay so um then your website is in danger okay because um your website might go down sometimes your website will load very slow sometime and everything so these might happen so if this is happening then you have to just uh like focus on changing your web host so you can go with the the bluehost um my friend uses the, that bluehost and he says that it is good um, I have got the great reviews about the side ground as well and also the TMD hosting. So I personally use Word that the host creator and I just really like it a lot. Um, if you want to go with the VPS as well, you can go with the VPS. So VPS servers are also a great option, but obviously they are very costly. So I don't think so because um, VPS will cost uh, a lot. So that is why you can go with the shared web hosting. VPS will cost you a lot. But if you want to start a very big brand name and you think that you will get a lot of traffic, okay, and you need these cores of CPU, these RAMs, so you get a different server, okay, like a virtual private server um, that you can use and then you can work with it. So it totally depends, okay, like um, you want to go with a VPS, you can get the idea, like um, if you want to start a very big project, then you should be going up with a VPS. But um, if you want to just start a normal business, like what everybody do, then you can go with the web hosting that is the shared plan. Okay, so they are the shared plans. So basically, we are done with the domain name and the web hosting tips. And now here, we will be moving on with the WordPress that what we can do to our website to so make sure that you have a best brand name of your domain name. If you are um, doing your business locally, then your country extension should be in your domain name. Now let's just go ahead and let's log into our website and let's just work with some things and you will love it. So I think I just remembered the password. Um, yes, let's try. I hope it works because um it's been like uh, maybe a month uh, I just installed WordPress in it and I, f I always forget my password okay um I just uh, keep it here in some notepad or word but I don't know where that file is so but I always forget things so now you can see that we are here in this and I'm going to be showing you that what you can do to your WordPress website to make it uh, work amazing okay so the number one thing that you have to do is that make sure that you have all your pages, okay? Make sure that your domain name is perfect and everything is perfect. And now, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you that how can you install an SEO plugin, which plugin you should install, and how that plugin will enhance your website, okay? So let's get started. First of all, we have to just go to the plugins and then we have to go to add new. So this plugin is going to help us a lot in getting a lot of traffic or just, um, getting more page results okay so i'm going to be searching for the seo that's all you have to search here and let's see which plugins comes on the top so this one is right here it says yoast seo and it has one plus million active installations okay this is also here but it has lowest reviews okay uh, people say that all of an seo pack is very easy to use and yoast is now also very easy to use so why not just go with this because um, I personally use, use Yoast SEO. Um, I haven't used this all-in-one SEO pack. I just installed it, but I was like, no, I don't want to go with this. I just want to uh, go with the Yoast SEO because um, when I was uh, 13 years old, I just, uh, I think I was using WordPress and I don't know which plugin I uh, just used for the SEO. But uh, I think Yoast SEO will help you. Um, I don't know. I don't know personally. I don't know how all in one SEO pack works. Uh, mostly people use this and this. So, but I will. I have used Yoast SEO, and Yoast SEO has produced some results on the Google. So that is why um, I'll be going up with this. Let's just go ahead and let's install this, and it's gonna be installed right now. So after this is installed, I'm gonna show you how this is plugin. How this plugin is gonna work, and how it's gonna 
change everything to your website and how it's gonna work so let's just go ahead and let's hit activate okay you can see this plugin is now activated so okay this plugin update is also available I just installed it and this is saying update now okay let's just go ahead and let's update and let's also update this plugin that we have here so now you can see it creates a window and here it says dashboard search console and the premium so let's just go ahead and let's just go to the dashboard now here we're gonna be working up with our optimization of the SEO um, we'll work with some of the things that how we're gonna optimize your website okay um, I'm not gonna do that but I'm gonna just give you the hint that how you are going to do it make sure I'm telling you again that you have all those main pages that I told you before I'm sorry that I told you before okay so make sure that you have all those pages and in the next video we'll be working up with the custom of the optimization of the SEO for this plugin so goodbye